So I built this chicken corral. Here's how I'm using it, and here's how the chickens are using it in this video coming up. So what goes in here? Food scraps. More food scraps. Prunings and transplants that never made it into the ground. Soil, root ball and all. So for the longest time I've had a need to help close the loop within my system. I end up with a lot of waste that I'm not quite sure what to do with. And it's worked out okay for me so far because I have this fill pile in the front. So any waste that the chickens can't eat or can't be integrated into my garden beds would go into that fill pile and simply get buried. It's mass. But now that that pile is almost full, I don't really have that outlet anymore. So I have a lot of scraps and stuff and I'm wondering where do I put them? Now the food scraps can be eaten by the chickens, but I've wanted some way to go beyond food scraps and deal with some other things like even bedding once it's been used. So I'm going after this idea of the chicken corral. It's chicken tractor on steroids based, not like a tractor, it doesn't move. So it's a corral, it's kind of based on the Vermont composting model where I'm just throwing all this organic matter in here in this stationary area and letting the chickens pick through it. I've long wanted an area where the chickens could do this, but I've never really had the space for one and I can't really integrate it into my system. But given the fact that I can't grow cover crops in these other areas right now, and I'm waiting on the wall to be finished that I'm sitting on, I have the space so I put this in. So that's what it's functioning as. So the chickens now get all the food scraps in there, any prunings, any, any vegetative prunings, not woody tree prunings, any transplants that don't go into the ground. And I'm also gonna take a bunch of the waste from one area, which is kinda of like this concept, only a different area, I'll show you in a minute. And that's all gonna end up in here as well. So this area right here that I'm sitting in front of, this is really chicken corral stage one. This is an area like a little protected coop outside of my chicken coop and the area underneath my chicken coop. The chicken coop is raised above the ground. So all this area under here, which is a pretty big area, it's probably eight by eight under the coop and this area is four by six, all collects different materials in there, some of which I put in there and some of which just falls out of the coop in the form of bedding. The chickens are constantly walking over this, picking through it, sorting through it, pooping on it, so it's getting pretty broken down. But it's still kind of woody, it's still kind of big, so I have a couple options. I can compost it, or my next thought is, well, why can't I compost it and have the chickens work it? So I'm gonna take the bedding and stuff that's under here to help clean out this area and put it in the other chicken corral and have the chickens just pick through it. That way anything that breaks down at the end of the day, I can just integrate into the soil up there where I want it versus when it's in here, I gotta scoop it out and move it. So I'm kind of double lifting here, but at the end of the day, I don't really have a choice because this area is starting to fill up. So I gotta get this stuff out of here and put it somewhere. I might as well put it in there and let the chickens have another go at it and start picking through it. So when I first built the coop, this was intentional to put this here. I made this door on it so I could easily access and get underneath. And the idea was to use this as a bit of a staging area, an area where I could put scraps and have the chickens work through them and then come back later and muck it out. And given its size, it's a huge area. There ends up to be a lot of material in here and the chickens working it, all the manure. I try and water it down once in a while. You end up with some pretty good looking compost type soil. So I'm gonna now take all this out and bring it up there and put it in the corral, let them pick through it so it ultimately gets where I want it to be anyway. One thing I also put a lot of in here was like old kale plants when I pulled those out of the ground. So you end up with a lot of woody, thicker stuff like this. This I will try and sort out if I can. This will go in a mulch pile down there. I don't want this in the garden beds because it's just too big. So here's what we're looking at. It looks actually pretty much like soil. There's definitely visible bedding, some wood chips in it, but it's pretty well broken down. And this isn't just raw soil that I put in there. That actually started out as a lot of bedding, mulch, food scraps, stuff I pulled out of the garden, raked out of the garden, 
and it's just broken down over time and mixed with the soil that's already under there and the manure and it's composted itself. So next stop for this is right up there. There's one, now I gotta muck out the rest of it. Here's another look at some of the soil coming out from that first section. And it, I'm calling it soil, it is soil. There's definitely the chicken batting in here. There's some wood chips, but it's pretty well broken down. You can see how the chickens have really worked through this. So putting this directly into the garden is actually a good thing. You can see as I've excavated, they've came in to do their own form of excavation and cleanup. Now the next area that I'm gonna excavate out, now that that front is empty, is underneath the coop directly. And this is a very different material that'll come out of here, you'll see. It's much more of a mulch because it never gets wet under there. So all this will be a mulch that's gonna go up there and I'm hoping the chickens turning it up there and mixing it in with the soil can help some of this stuff break down. Why I had to do this and why I timed this chicken corral when I did is I knew I had to empty out under here anyway and I have to do something with this stuff so I might as well stick it in up there. So this material is totally different. As you can see, it is wood not anything close to compost or soil, so I can't directly integrate this into the soil. I need this to get more broken down. There it is, totally done. There was an insane amount of stuff under there. I probably pulled 30 to 40 totes worth out of underneath this coop. I can't even remember the last time I cleaned it out. Under the main portion of the coop, there's a lot of bedding, a lot of leaves, a lot of sticks, dry stuff. It's basically been mummified under there. It's just desiccated. There's never water under there, so it doesn't decay. It doesn't break down. It just sits under there dry, and it's been under there, some of it, probably for years. But in doing this, the savior in all this was the Durafork really helped me out. It's so easy to scoop this stuff with. So this is my new favorite tool right here. But last load going in, I'll show you what that pile looks like now because there's a lot of stuff in that corral. This is what it looks like now. There's a lot under there. That's what all those loads looks like. So that's it, the corral is now full. It took all the bedding that I could give it. There's a lot in there. What I'm gonna do at this stage is keep dumping food scraps, any sort of trimmings, prunings into there. I'm also gonna be wetting it down with a hose periodically to help it break down and really get the composting action going. And my thought is by just leaving the chickens in here with all this stuff and continuing to add organic matter to it, that they'll just keep working it, turning it. Some of it will break down. They'll do some sorting effectively for me. The fines will go to the bottom. All the coarse stuff will go to the top. And that's not really a big deal for me having all the coarse up here. Like there's a fair bit of rock and sticks and bigger chunks of wood. And what I'll ultimately do at the end of the day with that is I'll just, when I tear this corral down, I'll just rake it this way into the backside of the wall that I have to build. So it'll be buried deep under the soil and backfill against the wall. So I don't really have to worry about putting too much core stuff into the beds, which would screw up seating later on because that stuff is gonna get scraped out of the way. So it's early May right now. They'll be in there probably till September, October timeframe I'm thinking. So we'll see how this all looks, how it all breaks down as the months progress. But it's now happening, it's in action. The chicken corral taking my waste stream and hopefully recycling it into a valuable resource. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be nice, be thankful, and do the work.